Hi! Hello, hello! How are you doing? Today I'm going to show you how to cook the deep fried dried tofu. Yeah, so it's the uh, this one is the tofu in dried form that you can get at the Asian grocery stores. Okay, so it's called koi. Uh, some people say kori tofu or koya tofu. Basically, it means uh, air air dried or freeze dried tofu. So you know, it's the ancient style of tofu. It's not the tofu that you get at the store. Okay, the wet one. This one is super dried. So I'm gonna have to dehydrate, but I'm going to show you in uh, other episode that how to clean, all right, just like the cleaning meat process, just like that, how to clean this tofu prior to use. So once I'm done that, or we do that, excuse me, or whatever, right? So, <coughs> excuse me, then you can go ahead, cook it, all right? Okay, sounds good. Yeah. Okay, the main ingredients are koya tofu or freeze dry or deep uh, freeze dry tofu, right? Okay, or some people do say air dry tofu. And then um, bonito broth, pesticide free, okay? And olive oil or uh, organic olive oil, excuse me, and or uh, organic oil of your choice okay and the organic starch flour okay so now I only have few left so that's why I'm going I'm gonna have to mix it with the uh, pesticide free all-purpose flour okay from Hokkaido now then I'll have the organic carrot organic ginger and organic garlics okay so now I use it these maybe I'll use it half for frying and the rest for the seasoning right so okay sounds good now I already put grated ginger and grated garlic okay with the uh, uh, fish broth okay so you don't need to put fish broth you can put just soy sauce or salt water a bit okay or uh, maybe uh, vegetable broth instead and then now uh, what I'm going to do is prior to the frying process so I'm gonna soak all the tofu right you don't need to soak the uh, you know veggies right so at the end I'm gonna fry some carrots garlic uh, ginger it's all organic you know <laughs> so soak this one into the uh, the, the, uh, the uh, I'm gonna marinate the tofu and then I mix the 50-50, uh, all right, so of starch flour, okay, and all-purpose flour, okay, so. Just watch what I'm done with. Whoa, what was that? My camera was shaking. Who did that? I guess I did, right? <laughs> I can use my hand. Right, so. You can use your hand or uh, utensils of your choice, okay? And because this gives you better seasoning. So this, so fish broth, garlic, and ginger seasoning, no. the marinade. You can use that for fish chicken, turkey, lamb, stuff like that. Then yeah. after that, what we do is the uh, dip in, in, you know, in this one, like this, and then 
just throw in the, uh, you know, uh, cook them for maybe one minute per side. Okay, sounds good, doesn't it? Okay, so here's the product, the marinated one. Okay, ready to cook. So now, because this one is induction range oven, but those of you have gas or electric coil power one, uh, this particular one, uh, you don't want to do super high heat, either medium high to medium back and forth, but this one has the temperature setting, so it's called deep fry mode and 180C, so that's about what, 375 or something? No, you don't want that. So maybe start off with 170. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's do it. And then I'm gonna add the olive organic olive oil. Right? So you only need half inch thickness. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Whenever it's ready, then meanwhile, you're just gonna prepare. what you do right, so you want to put the uh, you want to coat the dried one uh, you know, evenly right but don't put it too much right so. okay. now I can eat this you know, if I want to but nah 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 nah, nah. you gotta fry it. so how can we tell this is ready or not hmm. then just put the uh, because I'm not making tempura, so there's no dried, I mean wet batter. So you just stick the chopsticks or fork or knives. This one, it's not ready yet. Okay then. Is it? It's not bubbling, as you can see there. So. Don't try at home. <laughs> And then lower down to 360F or 170. Yeah, I've got the Fahrenheit to uh, Celsius conversion. Yeah, like 9 over 5 times whatever the number plus. Oh, I forgot, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. I think it's burning hot. So why don't I uh, try? smell the garlic, ginger, and then my secret sauce that I'm not going to share with you. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, right, right. Right. You want to shake off the unnecessary stoops, right? So. Some people do make the uh, deep fried dried tofu without putting flour. That's okay too, but it's kind of risky. So, you know, so do your own research before you, if you want to do that. I mean, if you're a professional, you probably know how to do that. So, you know, I'm just the uh, amateur, the uh, Congo chef, you know, the funkiest one in the world. <laughs> ah. This one, you know, it holds the temperature quite good, so you can put many as you want. But, you know, but check with the uh, you know owner's manual, right? Depending on the manufacturers, you know, this one, this particular one is the made by Amway, right? So Amway Queen Cookware or I Cook at certain uh, market. Hey, okay. Ooh, this close. So I'd say 
maybe one or two minutes per side, okay? This beeping sound means now it's reaching up to this particular temperature, 180C, okay? Ah, I can smell the fragrance, yeah, okay? And then, because they deep frying stuff, you get the moist get trapped on the back of the lid, so you have to wipe it off, right? Otherwise, you're not gonna like it. Yeah. See how it goes. See that? Right, so just wipe this off, right? Flip it. So. Ooh. It's already crunchy already. Should be ready in one or two minutes. Yeah, a minute or two. Excuse me. Mm. So I'm already getting hungry. My mouth is watering like Niagara Falls. I'm not joking. I think it's ready. It is. So, like I said, you have don't put. Try to excess. The, okay, try to get rid of the unnecessary oil, right? So one, two, three, four. I love the cooking classes, kind of thing. Okay. One, two, three, four. I love cooking. One, two, three, four. I love cooking. One, two, three, four. I love cooking. All right, that's enough. I guess. I love cooking. Who doesn't, right? Even amateur dude like myself can cook it. You guys can cook it. No matter what part of the world you uh, reside in, right? Okay. Right. So, I'm gonna show you. This is how it looks like. Okay. So now ready to go for second round. Alright, so why don't I add some oil? Yeah. And if you fail at first time, don't panic because it's the uh, it's that's nature of uh, cooking, right? 
Yeah. Just like entrepreneurship, the more you fail, the more you become successful in the near future. So, so bear with me. You can do shake and bake style, right? So uh, I just do the old fashioned Japanese style. So uh, anyway. Doesn't have to be hundred percent perfect. You just make sure it's it's good. It's all good anyway. <laughs> Those of you are okay with gluten, you can do deep fried gluten like this with this recipe. Yeah, uh, of course, chicken or beef or lamb, fish, right? Yeah, but with chicken or lamb, you probably want to um, put some uh, organic ground pepper with this batter. I mean, dried batter. Is that what it's supposed to be called, I guess? Yeah. Uh, chop, 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 chop. Yeah, yes sir, yes sir. Yeah, I must, you know. Ugh. Silly goose, dumb duck. Nah, I don't think so. Yeah. Shake and bake, shake and bake. Oh, I think it's working this way. Nice move. just ran out the starch flour. I mean, you can use the organic corn starch if you want it. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't make that much difference when it comes to cooking, but you got to make sure it's not the, uh, you know, uh, GMO stuff, right? So please check the label, Let's do your research before you are doing so, right? Trust but verify. Yeah, I love that expression. Uh, yeah. Yeah, should be good. Fine. Close the lid. So about one, one minute, two minutes. Okay. So let me try this one. Let's see how it goes. Okay. Hmm. You see that? I can see the hole into it, right? So, hmm. Let me try the other one. The same one or not, right? Hmm. Yeah, it has a hole inside. Hmm. It's hard to believe it's a tofu. Tastes like Japanese style fried chicken or karaage, or maybe Western style chicken nugget. No? Yeah. This can be a chicken nugget substitute. Yeah. Beautiful way. Yeah. Wow. I mean, those of you watching sumo or football or baseball, you know, if you make th this kind of stuff, people are gonna love you. I am sure. I can sure. Hmm. Okay, so thanks to the labyrinth seal of the jet engine style. Hmm. I'm gonna flip them. 
Oh, by the way, this is how it looks like. So. Okay, the panic zone warning came out. Yes. Sorry, people. So, do I have to apologize? No way, Jose. Yeah, I am who I am. I don't believe in political correctness. Yeah, I am who I am. Right? Otherwise, you cannot be a good amateur chef. Yeah, right. And then this leftover oil, you can make some gravy if you want to, which I'm not going to do that today. I'll save it for uh, other recipes. But. I love olive oil. You, know? well, you can try this with coconut oil. Okay, so those of you who are in the Philippines or Malaysia or India, or, you know, Thailand, you get the best coconut oil with organic, of course, by you know, you can get that as well. Ooh, this is awesome. This is awesome. I'm so proud of this. Mm. Wow. You know, uh, I'm sorry, I have to eat them because I just cannot resist. Yeah. Sorry, I'm eating wrong with this because the uh, you know the chef's privilege mm. Mm. this is so good control the electronic stability program on this tofu nah I don't think so I'm gonna eat them anyway so why should I <laughs> yeah. wow and those of you who don't like garlic you know that's okay too there's nothing wrong there I mean you can just put coriander powder or um, what was that the turmeric or cinnamon uh, even cinnamon sugar is okay uh, you can eat this as a dessert or snack right uh, you can maybe one day I'll dip this in the chocolate a chocolate dip deep fried tofu it's that's not that bad right so because some people do potato chips, uh, chocolate dip, right? So, yeah, why, why not, right? So, yeah. Okay. So, looks like gonna be a final batch. And then, I don't know, I have enough flour for, uh, you know, uh, veggies, but that's all right. Because this main topic, main thing is about the tofu. Yeah, so. But for the veggies, you can cook in oil. You don't need to put the. Uh, no, why don't I add the oil? Yeah. Yeah. That's more than
Ooh, it works. this much. Yeah. That's good. I hate wasting food. I hate wasting food. Because no matter what you guys thinking, these are the gift from God. Okay? Please do not forget. Uh, whether you believe it or not, these are the gift, right? from heaven or God or space, whatever you want to call it. Gift is, uh, gifts are the gift. Amen. Period. End of discussion. So these, you don't need to put the coating. You just cook it in oil. You just boil. <coughs> Excuse me. Boil it with the uh, you know oil. Yeah. some more oil yeah I guess that's okay I'll make it hmm. maybe it's not ready yet I love this crunchy, crunchiness. Crunching outside, inside, it's kind of soft. Perfect.
Slightly burned, that's alright. Still good anyway. Yeah. Should be dying a minute. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. I know that when you do the deep front dishes, right, right, I was taught never, never put the lid. But the reason I do, because when you put the lid, it makes, it, it keeps the temperature constant, much as you can. And on top of that, by releasing the moist, it builds the, uh, uh, those of you, the aircraft engineer, you probably can understand this easily, but it's called labyrinth seal of the jet engine. That's where uh, the water moist become the gasket between two steels. Yeah, you see that? Okay. So now I'm gonna release. Oh. Ready to serve. Okay. Abandoned ship from this uh, one. No, abandoned pan. What? <laughs> one, two. Three, boom. One, two, three, boom. Oh, it's been slippery. Yeah, that's alright. I'm all good. I am all good. Yeah? You don't have it, no matter what. You can make some stir-fried vegetables with the leftover oil, but instead I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to cook a, uh, veggies, alright, so organic carrot, organic garlic, organic ginger, alright, so you just put all of it. the other uh, plate. Mm -hmm. This should be good. It's not bad. It's like a veggie stick. Yeah, veggie stick. Assorted veggie sticks. So meanwhile, let me show you. Oh, uh, this is good. Yeah, right. Mmm. Amazing. Yeah.
I can smell the uh, fried grubs. Ginger, garlic, and carrot. The sweet smell, the pungent one, beautiful, amazing. Just cooking oil without putting any flour. Yeah. So it'll work. Yeah. It's gonna work. Oh Should be ready in a minute. Yeah. Because since the um, the carrot is organic. I didn't peel it because if you peel the skin, you're gonna you already lo be losing the nutrition values because it's called phytonutrient or phytochemical, right? So it means you get the nutri the best nutrition value that located between the skin layer and the meat layer, you know. So you don't want to lose that. That's why you want you got you know try to get organic veggies as much as you can you know you have more you know benefits yeah I'm not joking please do your research not because I'm just saying okay. Ooh, la la so. I think it's ready okay Why don't I use this for decoration? Yeah. Shake, shake, shake. Do, 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 do. Right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, it's ready. So, uh, I know this is not presentable, but I'll show you this anyway. So it's going to be my uh, breakfast. Yeah, so ketogenic breakfast. And here's the real one. Mmm. Ah, this is the one. Yeah. Okay. Ooh, I'm going to show you. Okay. Mmm. So, I am going to eat this one, huh? Cheers! So, fried tofu. Mmm! Mmm! It's good! I 
about this? Garlic. Mm. Amazing. Mm. A carrot. Fried ginger. Mm. It's burning hot. Good. I didn't have to add salt because the fish broth that I use for marinade, right? I already have some salt content, so I didn't have to add it. I mean, if you want to add it, that's okay too, you know. I just prefer not, so. Lord have mercy. Mm. Did you hear that crunchy sound? Mmm. Mm. Maybe not, but mm. You know what? Let's, go, let's try this anyway. So, it's a sandwich structure. I don't know if I could do this or not, but I do it anyway. Oh! I'm sorry. I drop it. I eat it later. So, second try. Okay. I think I can. Ah! Ooh! Thank you. So, we're good. So, by the way, um, I'm sorry. I, um, I'm gonna eat this after this show. So, I do apologize. I was eating, or I am eating in front of it like this because the uh, chef's privilege. Okay, so, see you next time. And cheers to all our great health and don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up and ring the bell bang bang right thank you god bless you bye hi thank you for watching my cooking shows those of you enjoyed please press the thumbs up and ring the bell and then don't forget to subscribe my cooking channel so that you won't be missing the forthcoming cooking shows stay hungry and cheers and make sure you stay strong and positive. All right, cheers. God bless you.